2024 season two is upon us. And dude, I'm actually so excited about this. So every single season two player on the field pass has a brand new ability that we have never seen before in Madden. So Aaron Donald gets interior threat. It's basically edge threat for D tackles. You get stronger pass rushing from the interior. D tackles have never had that, so that's sick. By the way, keep in mind, the season two players are not the only players that are gonna get this. They're kind of just players to introduce the new abilities. Jason Kelsey gets linchpin. This is probably my favorite. Linchpin gives you stronger blocking for all O-linemen. So it's basically protected on your quarterback, but on an offensive lineman. It's so sick. At level 35, you'll get Travis Kelsey. His ability, in my opinion, dog shit. It's third down threat. I think. An improved chance of winning contested catches on third down while in single coverage. It's a super, super specific ability, but it, it could be fun to use. I'm not going to count it out quite yet. And then 90 overall Micah Parsons, who's an absurdly good card, has a new X Factor. The new X Factor is called Dual Threat. This grants players an extremely high chance to defeat pass blocks while rushing or force catch knockouts while in coverage. What's crazy to me about this ability is it sounds Sounds like unstoppable force, but even better because you get catch knockouts. In fact, I'm unsure now why you would ever run unstoppable force. Extremely high chance to defeat pass blocks. Yeah, just seems like a super boosted X Factor. I love it. That's awesome. And then there's one more. You actually start this season with a free Randy Moss. Randy Moss gets deep elite which is improved catching on deep passes. The field pass is nuts. I'm actually super excited for all of these cards. This will be a field pass that I am 100% grinding out. I didn't care so much about season one. None of those cards excited me, but shit, man, this Randy Moss alone. There's also been a UI update. As you can see, the, uh, the stats and everything just look a little bit different. I've noticed that the menus are running infinitely faster, which makes me so happy. It's been my biggest issue with Madden. So dude, I just gotta say, I'm doing a little bit of EA sucking off, which I don't really do, but season two looks sick. I want to rip some packs and grind this field pass a little bit. So let's have a fun video. As you can see here, when you max out this Randy Moss, he's up to a 91, 92 speed, 91 Excel. It's going to be nasty. So you don't even have to upgrade the Randy Moss to get that new ability, Deep Elite. You literally can just put it on the 86 overall. Oh my God. All right. So I've got double me and now Deep Elite on Randy Moss. Holy shit. I didn't realize he was going to get it already. Well, hey, this is the pack and play squad and I technically got him in a pack so I'm definitely putting this in my lineup right now he's an 83 overall with just mid stats but he's still 6'4 and he still has deep elite it's actually kind of a crazy card and if you haven't been keeping up with pack and play don't worry I'll show you what the team looks like right now the idea is I can never use the auction house every player I get on this team will come from packs or sets got tons of nasty cards but bro I don't got a quarterback this Michael Vick has been selling I would love to get a quarterback today interior O-line definitely could use some work no question there Tight ends are sick, dude. I got Shannon Sharp and Kyle Pitts. My wide receivers are nasty. And that Randy Moss is only getting better. Linebackers are pretty mid. I'd love a, I'd love a better user. Love a better outside linebacker. I love Tyson Anderson. He's actually really good. I actually really like my secondary. And then my D-line. I think my edge rushers could be a little better. Javon Hargrave is insane. It's one of my favorite cards in the game. Let's take a look, though. So, like, 88 Javon Hargrave. Can he now get that interior D-line ability? Can I update him to have that now? Or No, so I'm looking at Javon Hargrave. It's not even an option on this card. So it is interesting when they add new abilities like that. I assume it's only for cards moving forward. Doesn't look like I can retroactively go back, you know, to Javon Hargrave and give him that ability. Now, as for packs, there is the new team of the week. Stefan Diggs, Jerry Jacobs, and Mark Andrews. It's an interesting set of team of the week players, to be honest. I don't really need Mark Andrews or Stefan Diggs. I was just really excited about the new season. So I wanted to do this anyway. One pack I really want to open is this AKA signature pack. 286 pluses, 282 pluses, and two AKA tokens. Honestly, a quarterback is the best case scenario here. I can't pull Andrew Luck anymore, though. We get Marlon Humphrey to start out. Another Marlon Humphrey. He's actually really good, so I'll take 86 Marlon Humphrey. We've got an AKA token. We've got an AKA token. Oh, no big animations. 82 McCaffrey. 86 McCaffrey. Damn, man. Marlon Humphrey will go on this lineup, but that's about it right there. I don't even know what this 
is. Let's just fucking send it. Let's go, baby. Also, as you're seeing this, you might have already seen it, but there's... Oh, I actually really like Darius Williams. What else is there? Nico. Oh, dude, Nico Collins has been insane. I don't know if any of you guys drafted him late in your fantasy or traded for him or what, but Nico Collins is bonkers. He's 6'4". He's really good. He should definitely go in for Randy Moss. And since I just got Marlon Humphrey, I don't really need Darius Williams. I'm gonna go Nico. I I'm actually really excited to have Nico Collins. Oh, 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 shit! Oh my god, yo! Dude, it did that glitch where it doesn't show you the back animations and I pull a limited? Yo, wait, I can actually do the sauce though. As if I ever wanted to fake a YouTube video on those choice packs, dude, I can just pull out and I can pull right back in and I, I don't think, I think it'll reset the animation. I wanna see the glorious animation as I pull a limited. Okay, DJ Wanna, oh, whatever. <gasps> Big animation, oh, I love dick, oh, Jerry Jay goes off. Also, a massive shout out to the best place to buy tickets, SeatGeek, for continuing to sponsor my videos. If you plan to buy a ticket for anything, you can use my code MMG on SeatGeek to get $20 off your first purchase. And if you don't already have the SeatGeek app, you really should. They take tickets from all around the web and put them all in the SeatGeek app to make buying simple. And my favorite part is they'll actually show you the stadium with price indicators. Green is good and red is bad. And obviously, I plan to go to a lot of football games this year. I'll be using SeatGeek for every single ticket purchase. And don't forget that code MMG will get you $20 off your first purchase at SeatGeek. And of course, enjoy the rest of the video. 89 Jerry Jacobs. This round is supposed to have 82 pluses on it. I just yoinked the limited on it. Okay, wait, now this is legit. If I pulled some sauce here, if I saw the big animation here, I'd come. Zach Moss, Isaiah Oliver, and Tyler Algier. There is a team of the week, Sam Howell, that you can trade in 81s for. So I'm gonna grab the 81. Jerry Jacobs getting a Detroit Lion. That never bothers me. 88 speed, 89 excel. This is an insane corner. And he'll he'll pair very nicely with Charles Woodson. Doesn't get anything too good, low key. I mean, pick artist is nice. I'll go pick artist on Jerry Jacobs here. What a savage, bro. Go universal coverage. Wow, this UI, this UI is one bazillion times better. Holy shit. It's uh -huh. UI, right? Not UI. UI. When I say that, I'm just talking about the menus. They're infinitely faster. It's kind of making me horny. But you didn't have to say it. And I'm just going to crank out a week four team of the week bundle. If that Unstoppables promo is really cool, the one that's coming out, I, I feel like it's just heavyweights from last year, but I have actually no idea. If it's sick, I will 100% be doing pack and play back to back. Right now, I've already got limited Jerry Jacobs. I just still, dude, I still don't have a quarterback. Let's make it happen. Give me enough 81s. Oh, David Montgomery, I hate you. Hey, David Montgomery, why don't you um, why don't you sit on the bench and let Jameer Gibbs play? Because I drafted Jameer Gibbs in round three of fantasy, so if you want to chill out on the 32 fucking carries. That'd be great. Sick. Talk shit about the guy. He's in my next pack. Damn, they kind of sucked off the Lions on this team of the week, though. I like that. Got Jerry Jacobs. Got Montgomery. Two Nicholas Morrow. Monty G. Zach Moss. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, though. I miss packs that had a lot of players in them. I feel like some of these pack openings this year are just... <laughs> This is the exact fucking Sam Howell that I was talking about is in sets. Yo, this one had heat in it. Nico Collins and Sam Howell. This is a huge quarterback upgrade. I'm not even kidding. I think he's faster than Vic too. Wait, let's compare them side by side. Dude, Sam Howell at QB. All right, Sam Howell compared to 82 Mike Vic. 85 to 84. He's faster and throws everything better other than under pressure. And honestly, what's really important too is he's right-handed. Lefty QBs weird me out. And we're not even done. We got the big boy. Boys, this is the 89 overall fantasy. I could get two Jerry Jacobs. Oh, yes. That was the best case scenario. Okay, so the other three options are Jerry Jacobs, Stefan Diggs, and Mark Andrews. I just, there's no way I take any of them. Khalil Mack is the number one guy I needed, no question. Oh, it's so hard to look a limited in the eyes and pass on him though. But Khalil Mack with six sacks. Six foot three, 87 speed, and I desperately need a monster outside linebacker. Is Kalomek a MLB? Why was I comparing him to my middle linebackers? No, right outside linebacker. Okay. Holy shit, what an episode. We got limited Jerry Jacobs and the Khalil Mack, and we got a quarterback. This card is insane. 89 blocks. Don't tell me you get like edge threat. If you get edge threat, I'll just, I'll suck you. He needs 92 overall for edge threat. Okay, so he doesn't get edge threat. Nasty card though. For an 85 overall, Sam Howell's now in at QB. Got run CMC. We got Nico Collins, who's brand new, but not too much on offense. Today was a defensive episode. Khalil Mack, insane outside linebacker. That's a huge upgrade from Logan Wilson. Jerry Jacobs, Charles Woodson, Marlon Humphrey is... 
a crazy three corners. And how does Marlon Humphrey stack up to Jeff Okuda? Because those are my options here. Humphrey is six foot 85 speed. Jeff Okuda is 6'1", 86 speed. Jeff Okuda is a little better. I'm going to have to keep rocking Jeff Okuda and Marlon Humphrey can hang out on the bench. And if I ever decide, I can go sell all these players, put them in sets. But for now, I'm going to hang on to him because this team is just so nasty that I don't really need to do anything. I am going to make sure that Tyson Anderson is my sub linebacker. I don't know if you guys watch my other videos where I'm literally using gold Tyson Anderson as my sub linebacker because he's that good. So to have this 81 overall Tyson Anderson was even faster, more acceleration, still 6'2". Like just the, this is such a nasty card. It has no business being this good, but it is so good. Sick A and we can get some field pass levels right now for season two, which I'm super excited about. So a ton of crazy players. Quickest way to do it is just knock out your milestones. And look at this. They're teasing that Unstoppables promo before they dropped it. Get 50 first downs with three Unstoppable players in your lineup. And it hasn't dropped yet. Look at the top three. That's so fire. What's he got? Ramsey, Walter Payton, and B-Wags. All right. All right. Opening drive here, boys. I got to say, the one thing I still don't have is a good user middle linebacker. So I'm probably going to switch to nickel. Hey! Zach Allen. Yo, I'm sending a huge blitz here. Huge blitz here. Huge blitz here. Third and 17. Dude, this is a, gotta be an easy stop. Zach Allen times two. Fourth and 17. He doesn't even get it off. <laughs> oh, Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack got to him too fast. Oh my God. Hang on, hang on. Laser. Sam Howell. Laser. Kyle Pitts. One play, one touchdown. Oh my God. Yeah, this is quite the start to the game. Two-point conversion? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't believe that went through. Let's go. First and 10. Ooh. Nice play. That was Minka. Tyson Anderson, the user. Don't sleep on him, bro. Do not sleep on Tyson Anderson. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. And it worked. Whip route. Whip route. Whip route. He does throw it. Big hit. Big hit. Oh. <gasps> he fumbled, I think. Did that ball pop out? Might have been a bad start for him, but he seems to be picking it up. That's not a handoff. That's a play action. <sighs> Damn it. I can't get there. Oh, you psycho. Tried to hurdle me. All right, boys. Let's get a stop, please. Yeah, we know what he's doing. Oh, wait. This is the first quarter. <laughs> I thought we were in the second quarter. Tyson Anderson. <gasps> what? Who? <sighs> Woodson with a breakup on Jerry Rice. Two goats going at it. Fourth and eight. Wow, he's really going to take a field goal? Yo, I'm shocked. Just going to go to CMC out the backfield. Nice little stiff arm. Make it second and one. Second and one. I smell. Oh, my God. Tyreek Hill just got so mangled up with. Wow, that was so open. Dude, he had him so burnt. Okay, well, he hasn't burnt again, so it worked out. It worked out. I think he's going to. I think I'm going to get him with Tyreek Hill again. Oh, my God. No! Wow, I had him, bro. Brian Finneran, you're going to be there, right? Get out of there, Sam! Oh, my God, Sam Howell! He's so fast! What? Dog! 100% should have fumbled. I'm supposed to fumble that. Sometimes you just feel like doing some reckless shit. Little leak out pass to the tight end here, and I'm just playing so sketchy right now. There are two people available to block him, and neither of you decided to block him. Gonna let him get all the way to the quarterback. Third and 16. Can we pick this up? I'm gonna playmaker. Oh my god, wait a second. Is that. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Dude, I was just about to bitch out 84 for not blocking. Nico Collins doesn't care. Dude, what? Oh my god, Sam Howell, hello. Sam Howell, I needed you my whole life, man. Every pack and play episode, I needed you, dog. He throws another laser. That one's just dropped. That's a tough catch. It's a tough catch. I'm not mad about that. It's a tough catch. First and 10. I'm gonna drop it to Tampa 2 here. Let's take a peek. What does he like? He likes to throw horrible balls. What is that, bro? Jerry Jacobs was on that shit. Tyson Anderson. Actually. Actually, a very good ball. Play under this. He wants to throw low. That was, was 100% pass interference. Halfback. Damn it. Oh, good play. Good play, Jacobs. Oh, now he does run it. Go low, go low. Oh, ah, nice juke. He's not going to get another one, though. Oh, chill out, Walter Payton. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He figured out what's working, and he's got the patience to run it. Most people don't have the patience to run it this many times in a row. He's going to do it again, isn't he? First time we bottled it up right there. Yup. Come on. 
Wow, he really tested me, like, to my face, and he threw it right at me. I have nobody but to blame. Oh, now he runs it, though. Now he runs it. Pass? Oh, what a hit! <laughs> That's gorgeous. Play action, play action, play action. Throw halfback. He's got nothing, and he knows it, and he knows it. No. Oh, Jerry Jacobs! This guy's a fucking demon. He just flagged down... RG3. That was sick. Oh, I love that, dude. What a beast. Only problem with this defense right now, I got to get Khalil Mack in. 80, 80, 80. There is not a soul open. No, don't even think about it. You're going to run out of stamina. <laughs> RG3 can move, though. I got to respect that he can move. In this 3-3, though, the only thing, I got to take Seau out and put in Khalil Mack. So that's technically Seau playing like a true linebacker position, but I would definitely have him over Seau. I guess I could put him on the D-line if I wanted to. I'm just going to go double slants. Wow, you're open. He's not guarding that. CMC breaking two of those. Seven for nine, 97 yards, two tutties. It's also out of bounds. Picked up by McCaffrey. I'm. Oh, that's a horrible ball. Jesus, that was that was so bad. It's not even funny. Sam Howell, I was starting to believe in you, man. That went nowhere near its intended target. That was going to Brian Finneran. We know he's passing. He throws low. He's going to juke. Oh, nice juke. I did not expect that. What is he doing? This is the second quarter. You have to score here now. Call a timeout. You're an idiot. You're actually an idiot. I'm so mad. What a loser. And I get the ball. Wow, he could have had nine points. Could have been nine to 14. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go coach suggestions. Coach is picking every single play call for the rest of today. Let's go. Brian Finner in out route. All right, coach. You called it, not me. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Coach. Coach. Coach, you dirty devil. Coach, you dirty devil. <gasps> ah! Did you say Tyreek Hill whip route? That's kind of risky, no? Oh my God. Coach. Coach wants I form ISO and he wants to sub in Najee Harris and sub out Christian McCaffrey. That's a bold call, coach. Let's see if it pays off for him. Oh my God, coach. Coach, are you him? Coach suggested just walked me into the end zone. 21 to six. Wait just a minute. RG3, you're going to have to try something new, man, or this just ain't going to, ain't going to fly. Nice work. Are you ready? I'm going to get sneaky now. I'm going to go jump that route. I dare him to throw that one more time. Dude, you're a bum. Just quit. Just quit. Come on. Give me my rage quit. Thank you. Thank you very much. Rage quit on pack and play is one of any pack in the store. I got to go Gridiron Guardian Elite pack because these packs are just juiced. They're expensive though. So that's why they're so stacked. 83 jet. Oh, that's actually an upgrade. Totally an upgrade. Noah Fant. He might be a good backup. I'm not entirely sure. Carl Lawson. Wow, 383s in that. Stupid clutch. Let's go. Fan actually goes in this lineup. And then defensively, no Carl Lawson, but I will totally throw Jack Campbell in there over Junior Seau. No question. He's taller. He's faster. Huge. All right, boys. Hey, pack and play heater. I hope you guys enjoyed. I have the power of Tito on my side, which I love to have. Unstoppables comes out soon. I'll get you a video for that. Most Feared comes out October 12th. Yeah, October 12th. So you know I'm going to get you at least a couple videos for that. And uh, Wheel of Mutt's on the way. Double or Nothing's on the way. Meme reactions on the Meeks channel. Franchise and Superstar on MMG Live. A lot of heaters. I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.